So that mission is a 501c3. We aim to train untapped young adults for careers in tech so we can build wealth and prosperity in our underserved communities. One of the reasons that I decided to put together this organization with a team of technologists was the gap that we have identified within the tech industry. Not only there is a gap between diversity in the tech industry, but a lot of young people are not being exposed to STEM opportunities at the education level. Just to give you some stats, 90% of parents want their kids to pursue STEM careers, but only 40% high schools across the country teach STEM. So you can kind of see the disparity between young people, high school seniors not being exposed to STEM opportunities. So we as an organization are trying to make sure that we close that gap by connecting young people to post-secondary opportunities as well as employment pathways. I think what, what Dev Mission is kind of uniquely positioned to do is they're really there to help young adults who are starting from zero, right? There are a lot of resources out there for people who have some basics and fundamentals already learned, yeah. but if you are kind of starting from nothing, it's really hard to bootstrap yourself and figure out, hey, where do I even start? And so what I think Dev Mission is kind of uniquely positioned to do is we start from the beginning. We start, we assume no knowledge, and we really try to build up a foundation that should the young adults that come through our program choose to continue their education and pursue perhaps a career in the technology industry, they'll be able to build on what they learned here and they won't have to start from zero if it's, if it's something they, they decide they're gonna do. Because everybody should have the opportunity to learn how to do this. I don't think everybody needs to learn how to write code, uh, but I think everybody should have the opportunity. I think one of the things that I found coming in very late to the game, you know, I was 26 when I actually started learning how to code, there was kind of a, a thought and kind of an idea out there that coding is really hard, right? It takes many, many, many years, uh, and it requires like a lot of math knowledge, and it's this kind of inaccessible trade and like skill, uh, and it, it just isn't. Uh, it's actually remarkably accessible, uh, and it absolutely doesn't require uh, mathematical knowledge. So I think uh, it means something to me that, that everybody should have the opportunity to discover that and discover whether uh, learning it is any fun for them. Because uh, there's a lot, there's a lot to do with it if you enjoy it. It's what supports this this whole city we live in and, and love. And I just I, I hate that anybody would would ever uh, think that that was that that was out of their reach or inaccessible or they, they, they couldn't get that. They absolutely should. When I first first joined the program they were talking about like what's HTML, what's CSS, JavaScript and then the functions of this, the functions of, I'm like what? I, I, I can't do this. You know I, at first I was like this is not for me. I don't know another thing of this. But the great part about this was that everybody didn't know nothing. You know so we all we're all learning together and the good thing about this program, I feel like it brings people together no matter where you're from or what the city you're from. You know, it makes you feel like your brothers and sisters are here to support you, you know, and I really like that about this program. Like, it brings all ethnicities and all kinds of people together to one.